With the build-up to this year's Academy Awards well underway, let's take a look at the movie shortlisted for Best Picture. The eight nominees for Best Picture are American Sniper, Birdman, Boyhood, The Grand Budapest Hotel, The Imitation Game, Selma, The Theory of Everything, and Whiplash. The race seems to be wide open, but if there is a frontrunner currently, it would have to be Richard Linklater's 12 years in the making Boyhood, which has already collected the Golden Globe for Best Picture Drama. I was trying to tell a film about uh, growing up, and you know, in cinema, you know, the novelist doesn't have the limitation, they can just write about all of it, but in film, you're, you're limited to the age of your young actor. You can't really ask a seven-year-old, okay, now you're 13, you can't do that. Linklater's also nominated for Best Director alongside Wes Anderson for The Grand Budapest Hotel, Alejandro González Iñárritu for his Birdman, Bennett Miller for Foxcatcher, and Norwegian Morten Tilden, who helmed the imitation game. You have to pinch yourself a little bit, I think, because it's, it's, uh, it's the response you dream of when you're making a movie. Kicking things off is French beauty Marion Cotillard for her performance in Two Days, One Night. Felicity Jones picked up her nod for playing Stephen Hawking's love interest in The Theory of Everything. Julianne Moore was a shoo-in after her role as an Alzheimer's-stricken linguistics professor in Still Alice. Rosamund Pike received her nod for Gone Girl. Reese Witherspoon, however, had to walk a thousand miles to pick up her nomination for the movie Wild. I'm nowhere near ready. When it comes to supporting actress, the competition stays just as high, as Patricia Arquette worked 12 years on the movie Boyhood to earn her her honour. Laura Dern joins Witherspoon, nabbing her nod for Wild. Kira Knightley romance Benedict Cumberbatch in The Imitation Game, and Emma Stone was a mischievous daughter of an acting legend in Birdman. And last but by no means least, the Oscars wouldn't be the Oscars without Meryl Streep, and she picked up her 19th nomination for the musical Into the Woods. Steve Carell has been nominated for his complete transformation, both physical appearance and in his acting, after having an incredible career in comedy to star in the dramatic Foxcatcher. Mark Ruffalo, who also stars in Foxcatcher, was named in the Best Supporting Actor list. What's he get out of all this? What are you thinking? This is it. This is all that we've that we've ever wanted. Steve can't rest just yet, though, as he's up against Bradley Cooper in American Sniper. Bradley plays a trained sniper who has trouble adapting to a civilian lifestyle. Michael Keaton has also been nominated for his first Academy Award, despite his career spanning more than three decades, for his performance in Birdman. Listen to me. I'm just a you are the original, man. Let's make a comeback. 